Hi guys, Brendan from TAT here. Um, just want to show you a common fault that you're probably all aware of, but a, a really quick way to diagnose it. So um, the car in question is a 2007 um, Mitsubishi Triton. It's got the 4M41 um, engine, so the 3.2 litre that you're all probably pretty uh, aware of. Um, so the common thing that happens with them with the blocked manifold is um, low power and a misfire uh, around that 2000 RPM range. So if I put my foot down flat to the floor, really struggling to pull through there. A um, lot of white smoke coming out the back. Okay, so the quick and easy thing to do with these to um, prove what the problem is and from the intake getting blocked up is to play with these swirl valves that these have. So you see that actuator that I've got lit up down there with the vacuum hose going to it that it's not going to focus on. But I'll point at it, so right there. Um, so that's your vacuum actuator for the swirl valves. Now it's as simple as disconnecting the, the hose off that. You'll see the rod on the swirl valves um, move because it's now opened the swirl valves and effectively we've increased the amount of airflow that this is able to take in. So if I do the same test, put to the floor in neutral. See we got cleanly through that 2000 RPM section that it couldn't before. Um, take this for a drive like that and it's going to be a, a different car. Not perfect because there is still quite a bit of manifold blockage but there's enough there that it can get through that um, 2000 RPM point. So this manifold definitely needs a clean out and I'll get you a look after. All right guys, so we've got the manifold off and as we assumed, it's pretty gunky. I mean, we've all seen it before, quite a hard build up in this one. But it's just to see those swell valves I was talking about. So the vacuum actuator is okay. We, we saw it moving um, on the car when I took it off and on. But when I close that, so you can already start to see part of the problem where some of them are closed and some of them have quite a, a gap still in those swirl valves. So um, first we've got um, uneven flow. And then secondly, um, when we're at idle, so like I said, we've got our swirl valves closed up to around that 2000 mark and then they'll open. So you'll find when we're approaching that 2000 mark where it starts to really buck and kick and just can't go, these are still closed and it's just not enough flow through those ports there um, until the boost kicks in and then these will, will open enough and then you start to get enough flow through there and the thing can rev through. So what are we going to do about it? Um, just a, a quick five minute scrape out with a screwdriver works best for me before I put them over in the ultrasonic tank that we've got. So um, a lot of people starting to get on board with these. Sorry for the light. There we go. So that's the, the model it is. I turned on the um, temperature up to about 70 degrees when I started the job. It's almost there. So we're just going to dunk it into that for um, a good half an hour or so while I go and have some lunch, um, leaving the tank to do its job. I'll then probably give it another little gurney out and see how it's going, usually another 15 minutes after that, and I'll show you the end result. Out of the tank now, so they've had their half an hour and I've just finished giving them a bit of a gurney as well. So as you can see, it's done quite a good job. I'm sure there's a little bit of surface uh, carbon left there if you wanted to get picky. On the other side, back to, you know, they'll, it'll come up like this if I was to leave it a bit. I might throw this one in for another 10 minutes maybe and um, I'm sure it'll come up absolutely beautiful but um, definitely a, an economical way of, of cleaning these things. All finished now guys so it's all back together. Um, I'll give you another shot of the taco what it does now so if you remember we couldn't rev past 2000 rpm basically it'd have a massive stutter on the road it was completely underpowered so onto the taco um, just in neutral another big rev Pulls nice and smoothly now, so um, no white smoke out the back. We had a heap of white smoke before when we try and do that. So um, another another fix, all good. So main thing to take from this is those swirl valves. Um, so just simply um, unplugging them because when they've got vacuum applied at idle, they're in their closed state. So simply unplugging that opens it, boosts the airflow through the manifold. And if you get a massive um, change in performance, it's a very good indicator that you've got a blocked intake manifold. Um, other thing to take from this, that ultrasonic cleaner. So it's cheap, it's uh, eBay, it's Chinese, but it works absolute wonders, so that's fine with me. Um, I swear by it and it's done a great job, so I'm um, worth having a look at it if you don't have one. So um, a couple of things to take, hopefully you got something from it, and we'll see you next time.